Good day, my brothers and sisters. Um, redeemed children of the light, as we read of in Ephesians 5. I want to talk to you today about a, a very short topic, but a topic that's so close to my heart. And that's the topic of the question of the silly season. Oh, it's a term I detest. You know, it comes from our, our Christian background, our Christian culture in the West, that as we go October into November and December, that it's Christmas season. And yes, firstly, let me get this, uh, this, um, this point out of the way. I know that Jesus Christ wasn't born on the 25th of December. But that's actually, for me, not the point here at all. Um, we as a Christian brotherhood, all across the West, and even those Christians in the East and the Middle East, but Christians all around the world for that matter, celebrate December and then specif specifically the 25th, when the Orthodox tradition, beginning of first week in January, we celebrate the wonder and the awesomeness that God Almighty laid down divinity and took on flesh and became a human being. Um, as the letter to the Philippians in chapter 2 speaks of his kenosis, his outpouring from divine holy divinity, in, in, like I said, taking on flesh and becoming human being. And it is such a wonderful miracle. It's so incredible and awesome. That it needs to be celebrated. I think it's fantastic. It needs to be celebrated. And we in the, in the Christian world celebrate this since 336 after Christ. For 1,700 years. So, yes, I know he wasn't born on the 25th of December. And very likely he was born in October um, during the Feast of Sukkot. The Feast of, 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 of the Booths. Um, uh, you get um, uh, Rosh Hananah, Yom Kippur, and then um, Sukkot. And um, most likely, yes, he was born in October. And I will still do a, a, a video about, about how you can calculate it actually from Scripture. Quite accurately at what month or what time our Divine Savior was born. And yes, most likely he was born in October at, during the Feast of Sukkot. But... There's actually no reason not to celebrate his birth, if I can say officially, during December. I mean, the Queen of England has two birthdays. She's born, if I recall correctly, on the 21st of April, where she celebrates with her family. And then there's a national celebration in June. There's nothing wrong with that. And our Lord is the King of Kings. He's the King of the universe. He's the King of heaven. Why can't he have two birthdays? Why can't we celebrate on a personal level and a spiritual level during Sukkot or the month of October, the Feast of, of Booths? Why can't we celebrate his birth, but then officially and formally and publicly we celebrate it in December on the 25th? And it's a holy and reverent season. I hate it. I, I'm, I'm usually somebody who don't often use the word hate. But I did tested that people refer to this season we are going into which is the season of celebration cel season of holiness officially celebrating the birth of the king of kings and the lord of lords the creator of the universe elohim shaddai the almighty and that we can take that and call it silly sure no christians should do that and I want to really press on your heart, any Christian listening to this video, I don't care if you're Roman Catholic, Anglican, Pentecostal, Reformed, Orthodox, I don't care what your church background is. If you love Jesus Christ, don't ever let this term silly, silly season, wacky season, holiday season come out of your mouth. For November, December, the, air, the time that should be referred to as the Christmas, the holy, the divine season where we officially and publicly celebrate his birth as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Please be encouraged. Every time I see somebody say, oh, 
holiday season or oh silly season or oh whatever other terms they think up for it if you're a christian that loved jesus christ my brother and sister you should never use those terms because the the, the time we're going into is reverent and holy respect that and reflect it in the way you talk about it Please return to my website on a regular basis at www.glitterforchrist.co.za. Regular teaching is coming up. If it's possible to donate to my ministry, please, there's a place to donate. Be so kind, if so, led by God's Holy Spirit. And it's my honest, heartfelt benediction for you as we enter into this holy, reverent and divine season that the Holy Trinity... In this Christmas season ahead, that the one true living God, the Holy Trinity, will bless you.